Hi, my name is Diana, and I'm a teacher from Toronto, Canada, and this is my classroom. Uh, I didn't go away for university, I stayed local, so I knew once I started working, uh, I wanted uh, an adventure, and so I figured I would start my teaching adventure by going abroad. Uh, I decided with England because I spoke the language, <laughs> and it was a pretty easy process to start work, and, uh, and it wasn't too, too far away. So, um, I actually first got hired by a, a local school board here in Toronto, and I started supply teaching. And once I started supply teaching, I quickly realized that I wasn't going to get a permanent job anytime soon. So, that's when I confirmed that I was going to go away, and so I decided on England, and I had a, a friend from Teachers College who was actually already there. And she was telling me amazing things of how there was a teacher shortage in the UK, they loved Canadian teachers, and that I could get a job the next day. So I arrived in uh, East London, uh, and I think it was on a weekend, and I literally started working like two days later. And I was working in East London, so mostly areas uh, Leighton, Leighton Stone, I supply taught in Chingford, Dagenham, and it was an exciting uh, opportunity because I got to see a lot of East London and I got to see and get a feel of like different schools and if I would consider maybe getting a long term there or not. And so I did that for a couple months and then I secured a, uh, a long term position in Ilford, so which is uh, in Essex. And it was amazing. I had uh, an amazing staff, uh, the students were great. And I, it was probably one of my best teaching experiences to date. Uh, it was a little different than uh, the school operated a little different uh, than they do here in Canada. Uh, and I love the model. So teaching in London was amazing. Uh, on, I, on weekends, uh, I went to like a different market. So they had markets in Greenwich, in Notting Hill, and just got to really explore the city. And it's such a busy place and there's so much things going on. I also love the historical aspect of it. So I'm a history teacher and I loved actually going to these sites and like firsthand instead of just reading about them in books. So on my time off, I got to see Stonehenge, I went to Bath, I took the train up to Manchester. And then the amazing thing about the UK teaching year is that you get these half term breaks. So you get a one week off around every six to seven weeks and it allows you to go and explore. So I went to Portugal for a week, I got to see family in France, and one of my friends actually came down from Canada, and then we went to Spain for a few days, and so it was absolutely amazing. So from London to all these spots in Europe, it's only about two, two and a half hours, and it cost peanuts. So that aspect of teaching somewhere else, having a great job, but also being able to explore while you're here was probably one of the most amazing experiences of my life. So before I left the UK, I actually got hired by uh, the school board here in, uh, in Ontario and I worked a few days supplying and then I asked for a leave of absence and that's when I left. Uh, it was super simple, I actually just wrote an email to HR and then I was able to return so when I was done teaching in the UK, I was able to just email them back and say that I was wanting to teach in Canada again and I started supplying again and it really wasn't a big deal. Uh, I continued daily supply just for a little bit and then I got my LTOs and then eventually a permanent job. Uh, I figured I would go abroad because teachers were doing the same thing here, they were supplying and it didn't really hinder me in any way. I, got a, I didn't get a permanent job any sooner or any later than anyone else in my graduating year. My advice to anyone thinking about going abroad is to just go. It was amazing. And if Toronto or Canada is your home base, there will always be jobs here. So, but the timing may not always be right. So for me, it was a great time to go. Um, I had a boyfriend, but it was okay. We made it work. He came to visit me. I came home for Christmas. And when I came back, I still continued on with my career. Uh, if you wait kind of a few years, it may not be the good time. It may not be a good time for you. So when I 
came back, there was jobs. There will always be jobs back home. So I say, if it's the right time for you, just book your adventure and go. And believe me, you will not regret it. Thank you.